This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a pretty sweet aggro list to look at today. I'm calling this one Unblock a Blue. It's basically this mono blue aggro deck built around evasive unblockable creatures with a pretty sweet twist for closing out the game. So it comes to us from Tomb Simon, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive standard league on Magic Online. So congrats to Tomb Simon on a really sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down Unblockable for standard. If you enjoy this deck and y'all want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So kind of the two hallmark cards of Unblockable are the two one-drop unblockable creatures. So this is like Slitherblade.deck. We have Slitherblade, we have Miscloak Herald. They're very similar. Slitherblade, one mana, one two, can't be blocked. Miscloak Herald loses out on a point of toughness, so it's just a one one. Kind of makes up for that with Merfolk's energy, although in our deck, Merfolk doesn't really matter. But still, it's also unblockable, so so we play these creatures on turn one, hopefully, and just start pinging in for one point of damage, one point of damage, one point of damage. Really annoying to deal with, not the fastest clock by themselves, but those one points of damage, especially if we get several of these creatures on the battlefield, starts to add up and gets our opponent's life total down in the danger zone. Following that up, we have some flying one drops, which aren't technically unblockable, but being evasive is a good start. So Hope of Gripper, Siren Storm Tamer are kind of spells that also are creatures that are beating down for one, like most of the cards in our deck. So Hope of Gripper, mostly just in our deck to be attacking. However, if we're worried about a Fumigate, for example, or if the game somehow goes long and we're worried about Approach of the Second Sun, we can always sack this to make our opponent not be able to cast non-creature spells during their turn, which buys us one more turn to close out the game through a Wrath or other disruption. And then Siren Storm Tamer just fizzles removal spells. It takes care of Settle the Wreckage, so between Hope of Gurupur covering Fumigate, Siren Storm Tamer covering Settle the Wreckage, we have all the most popular Wraths in the format kind of covered with these creatures that are also dealing damage beating down, can also just stop a targeted removal spell. Then we have Walking Ballista, which is basically just a really good magic card. It's our removal spell. It's our burn spell. It just kind of does a little bit of everything. It's one of those cards that's just really hard to pass up. Since it's very powerful, it's colorless, it's efficient, it's good in the early game, good in the late game. It's just a really, really strong magic card. So, rounding out our creature base, we have a couple of two-drop flyers in Ether Swooper and Glintness Grain. So, Swooper probably looks a little weird, but it keeps on theme with our pig you for one damage with something that's hard to block plan. And it's kind of even better than that because we can spend the energy to make a 1-1 one, one servo so we get another 1-1 one, one to do some attacking, more likely probably blocking our opponent's biggest creature Why we just keep hitting our opponent for one with all these unblockable or flying threats. And then Glintness Crane hits for one, like everything, on theme, on point, but more importantly it digs for an artifact. So we already saw Walking Ballista, but what artifacts are we digging for? And this is where the deck gets fun because the payoff for all this, the reason we want all these unblockable evasive creatures, is Throne of the God Pharaoh. We want this legendary artifact so severely, we are playing the full four copies, even though additionals are dead draws because it's legendary. But Throne of the God Pharaoh, only two mana, and makes it so at the beginning of our end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures we control. Since all of our creatures are unblockable, or they're flying, discounting Walking Ballista, we just swing with all of these random 1-1s, one and Throne Throne of the God Pharaoh kind of doubles their damage for just two mana because they're going to be tapped from attacking. So if we have, let's say, four Slither Blades and random flyers, that's extra four life loss every turn going to our opponent's face, and it scales upwards from there as we get more creatures. So even though it's kind of weird looking, it is incredibly powerful in this deck because we're going to be attacking with all these unblockable or flying creatures anyway, and we even have a trick. If we can't attack, we can just tap all of our team with Sky Skiff or Ether Sphere 
Nature Harvester. So these are more evasive threats, pretty good bodies, uh, two damage in there, three damage in there, lifelink can help swing the race with Ether Sphere. But the real trick is, once the board gets gummed up, if we can't keep attacking, we can just activate the crew ability a whole bunch of times, over and over and over again, to literally tap down our entire team, including even the Ether Sphere Harvester or Sky Skiff, to make sure all of our stuff is tapped for God Pharaoh's Throne, to drain our opponent out of the game with direct damage, no risk of settle the wreckage, no worries about blockers or anything like that, so a really cool trick to finish off the game. Otherwise, Curious Obsession just gives us a little bit of pumpage, makes our little creature a bit bigger, but more importantly, it just keeps drawing us a card. It's basically like a curiosity that just keeps drawing us a card again and again and again and again, finding us more 1-1s one -ones to play, finding us our Throne of the God Pharaoh. Mana Base, Rivulet, Scavenger Grounds, we don't really care about milling, but Rivulet's a blue source we can sack to Scavenger Grounds against Graveyard Base deck like God Pharaoh's Gift, which are pretty popular, Islands to cast our stuff. Sideboard-wise, Spell Pierce, Admiral's Orders give us some counters to protect our team. If there was ever a deck where Admiral's Orders would be good, this is a pretty good one. Since we're attacking, we can stop a Settle the Wreckage or a Removal Spell in combat. Unsummon gives us a bit of removal on our own, Sentinel Totem for Graveyard decks, and then Jace Cunning Castaway. Speaking of cards that don't really see play, but if there was ever a deck that they would be good in, it would be this one, because we have a ton of evasive creatures, so we're always going to be getting in with the loot mode. If we need to, we can make some illusions, then we can just make copies of Jace and keep looting more and more and let it spiral out of control. So it's not insane in our deck, but it's cheap enough we can slip it in under counters and control matchups, and that's kind of the plan for Jace, to bring it in against control and give us a resilient threat that sits on the battlefield, doesn't die to creature removal, sweepers, whatever, and that is Unblockablue for <laughs> Dominaria Standard, and that's better instant deck deck for today, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.